This is All India Radio. In the program Spotlight, we now bring you a discussion on the progress in the agriculture sector of India. The participants are Harveer Singh, agriculture expert, and Sanjeev Mukherjee, journalist. We are looking at the last seven years. There has been a lot of steps taken by the government to improve the agriculture sector. To discuss, we have Mr. Harveer Singh. Sir, what according to you do you have the major achievements and the steps taken by the government to improve the agriculture sector? You see that agriculture sector is going transition phase and many changes are happening in the sector. At the same time, government also came out with the steps and schemes on different fronts like improvement on the technological front, new varieties and some crop protection things. At the same time, this risk cover, you can say that improved crop insurance scheme. The focus basically changed. It starts is now on how to increase the income instead of production. So this big change definitely will bring the change in the life of the farmers in the country. There is a lot of talk surrounding MSP now after the repeal of the Farm Act. And MSP is a big instrument by the government over the years to improve the health of the farmers. What according to you should be the process of delivering MSP and how this thing has evolved over the years. Is it up to now? Is it fixed in few crops? Should it be diversified? Should, it be the, should the platform or the method of delivery should be changed? What according to you should be the approach towards the MSP? It has become the central theme of agriculture to increase the farmer's income. The focus is basically the marketing aspect of Indian agricultural products. That is most important factor now because the better marketing efforts will bring the better return to the farmers for the same crop and the same uh, product. It is very important. If you see that some changes were made, deficiency payment scheme like PM Asha, then market support scheme also was there. If you see which we called market intervention scheme, if some prices of crop goes down, particularly known MSP crops. And the third instrument is this MSP crop where government announced 20 MSP for 23 crops. Few years back, that government announced this uh, that MSP cannot be fixed below A2 plus FL plus 50 percent cost of that. So that formula is being implemented, and we have seen massive uh, procurement operations in the last few years. If you see, even in Corona period and uh, last year and this year, the procurement of wheat, rice, pulses has gone tremendously very high and even cotton. So it means that farmers are getting the price which are being announced by the central government under MSP schemes. State is also supposed to play a very important role even for main cereal crops as well as the pulses and oil seed. In some states procurement is in decentralized uh, format. So state can come forward and can support the farmers in these operations of procurement. Do you think that there is now a need to relook at the entire mechanism that more intervention should be made in those crops which are needed for the country like oil seeds or pulses, the procurement level should go up much more than what they are today instead of being in wheat and rice. There should be a change in the priorities of crops in which MSP is delivered. Now we need a national plan for cropping pattern. We need a region-wise or a agroclimatic condition, very close planning and to implement that. So the solution lies in diversification of basically a production of agricultural produce. Some states still produce cereals only and at the same time concentrated in some states the procurement is also very high. So now we have a huge surplus, particularly in cereals, and we have mountains of stock and very difficult to dispose of. Even in international market right now, prices are really favorable for Indian export for cereals like wheat and rice and basmati and even sugar. But it will not remain always like that. On the other hand, we are importing our requirement like uh, almost more than half of our edible oil requirement is being met by the import. So we have market available in the country. And the diversification of cropping pattern also will give incentive in terms of conservative use of water for soil health. And the, even the price for the consumer in the domestic market will also be softened due to that. Because if we have availability from our own field, so and that money which we are paying for import will go into the pocket of Indian farmers. So we need a very serious planning. And in that case, we have to relook this MSP scheme also. So that farmers can be increased, if you will grow these crops also, definitely there will be a vibrant uh, MSP and procurement mechanism so that uh, farmers will be able to get the right price for their produce. So it will encourage the farmers to diversify from the particular 2-3 crops of cereals. 
and this procurement will also get diversified so that undue pressure will also come down on these uh, few cereal crops like wheat rice there is a diversification in all these things so that farmers will be benefit there will be less pressure on the price front also the government will not need to spend just to keep the stocks in central pool for products where there is no need to have such kind of stocks and here what is my opinion that center and state both must come together plan it properly and encourage the farmers guide them educate them so that this is the future so now definitely msp has become the central theme of indian agriculture government also appointed a committee and dr dalwai on this doubling the farmers income so as already i have mentioned in the beginning of the talk that now focus is not on production focus is on income how to enhance the farmers income for crop production whether it is cereal crop food grain crop or it is horticultural produce fruits vegetable dairy and fisheries so agriculture is not just crop production now that the value coming from milk and dairy products is now more than overall food grain productions value so indian agriculture already being getting diversified but we have to go very closely into the planning and execute that for the better farming community it is address while well, repeating the c farmer act the prime minister talked about forming a committee state center representatives as well as expert farmers farmer union farmer groups and also others to take the entire sector forward and to look at various options do you think all this should be part of the agenda of the committee that is being talked about now yes then the prime minister announced this repealing of three farm law at the same time he announced that we want to bring everybody on board all the stakeholders state government central government farmers organization experts agricultural economists and all must come together and to find out a solution and which is suitable to the farming sector and for the betterment of the farmers income and agreeable to everybody so i think that is the route to find out a solution to bring everybody on board and Uh, there must be a forward looking solution because we have to think about the future we not to go into the past we have to think ahead what is lie and how can we build a, a strong agriculture and a strong rural economy in the country and one thing which many people are talking about is that the repeal of the farm laws is not the end of the agriculture reforms that has been talked this thing so now do you think the path of reforms will move from the state towards the center as it has been happening many states are already reforming in agriculture marketing and some other areas of the agriculture and it is not the end of the road to on front of agriculture reforms status quo in agriculture is not good for anybody nor for farmer nor for government or nor for consumers we need change in agriculture we need different kind of agriculture for the future so definitely it requires some changes on all areas but i have mentioned earlier also we need a collaborative approach where all stakeholders comes together and builds a consensus and moves ahead on all these things whether you will call them reforms or some uh, steps for better things uh, to increase the productivity to increase the income of the farmers all these things and diversification in agriculture many people are talking about as a next step for is that direct income support which in the terms of like pm kisan is the way forward to go to push more for agriculture to move forward do you think that should be the approach going forward in agriculture now we should be moving towards more direct income support to the farmers it is already prime minister kisan samman nidhi is going to the farmers or now it is universal earlier it was for a small marginal now it is universal transfer to the farmers but at the same time what is uh, the thinking simultaneously is that instead of having this universal kind of scheme that everybody will get a certain amount every year or every quarter it is better to link it with production and or to diversification so you have to have a mix of uh, direct income support msp as well as uh, in particularly specific incentive for the farmer those who want to diversify in the areas where good things will happen after that so we have to have a mix of schemes only one formula is not a proper solution to the agriculture sector for the country we need to look at direct income support as an incentive to diversify maybe if any farmer does move from say paddy to say cereal to pulse the royal city greater amount of incentive so that more and more farmers are encouraged to shift their cropping pattern towards the crops that we actually need this thing subsidies are a very integral part of the entire agricultural economy do you think there is need to rethink on the entire process of how we are administering these subsidies fertilizer subsidy is one of the major subsidy another you can say that uh, subsidy on uh, subsidized uh, loan under kisan credit card 
and food subsidy is not basically for directly for the farmers this national food security act and the pds system because government spends a lot buy from the farmers at msp and that economic cost is very high after that all incidental costs are being added then it is supposed to be delivered to the poor section of the society at a very low price or sometimes free also so that is the spending on food security and to support the marginal or vulnerable section of the society in terms of to provide them affordable food at a reasonable price we have to either we can make a differentiation between the two some states also give power subsidies and uh, irrigation subsidies to the farmers subsidy to agriculture is a global phenomena either we have to find out some route how can we support the farmer because the rich countries are giving very huge subsidy to their farmers and then they say that now wto is talking on this uh, agreement on agriculture so they want to change the formula for this aggregate measure support and uh, the subsidy now we have this 10% of the value of the production particularly for major cereals we have to look at uh, international elements also and we have to look domestic things also but definitely now is the time to relook and rework the subsidy regime how can we go on a safe side to support the indian farmer because in international market we cannot let off leave our farmers without any subsidy or without any support big countries particularly developed countries and oecd countries are giving huge subsidies to their farmers under this green boxes wto is a very important role development as far as indian agriculture is concerned because now that the ministerial obviously has been postponed because of covid year but some point of time it will be held uh, definitely where india has said the finalization or some kind of finality on the issue of agriculture subsidies and also the 10% de minimis limit that they have other main factor which comes on in terms on production marketing of the of the produce should we now look at more better opportunities to market the produce of agriculture commodities maybe exports could be more channelized we should look at diversifying the basket of agriculture if the basket is very limited to high crops four five items only do so we need to look at that as well we have to increase the production for in our export basket and we have to look what kind of market is available for our produce in the international market whether we are competitive or we can create a market uh, for long term we have to look into that and we have to increase the uh, farmers to produce those kind of products at the same time uh, marketing is very important aspect and here the efforts are being made that farmers collective should come together they must be create their own farmers producers organization or their cooperatives or their producers companies so that their bargaining power goes up in terms of buying input as well as uh, selling the output and uh, it is a economical means also uh, the future lies there that farmers uh, collective and farmers must come together because all the marketing efforts cannot be done only by the government we have some good examples in dairy sector in fisheries organizations are doing very well we have to replicate that kind of experiment in different areas also but definitely uh, maybe this uh, new ministry of cooperation formed so that uh, farmers can come create uh, more cooperatives and can do the marketing efforts for a uh, better farming income inputs are a very vital thing in agriculture climate change is a very lively issue and the recent glasgow summit also had a very uh, full fledged session on pan, uh, climate change and pan, sustainable agriculture do you think the way forward for indian agriculture is to move more sustainably but to provide reasonable amount of returns to farmers as well as cheaper food to the consumers right the climate change uh, definitely as a direct threat to agriculture any change in the temperature 1 degree or 2 degree makes a huge difference in crop production and productivity all the crops are not basically resilient to bear this kind of change so we have to work on developing more varieties which are resilient to this kind of climate shocks but at the same time again we have to diversify for the crops and uh, but at the same time uh, there may be more pressure on country like india for dairy and agriculture production scenario but i think we must think for ourselves first than uh, to any other commitment there should not be any compromise on the farming side on indian agriculture i think with all these issues will be taken up in the new panel that uh, that is expected to be formed up with this we end the discussion thank you arvind thank you you are listening to a discussion on the progress in the agriculture sector of india the participants were harveer singh agriculture expert and sanjeev mukherjee journalist this program was produced and presented by the news services division of all india radio you can listen to it on our mobile app news on air 
This program is also available on our YouTube channel, News on AIR Official.